St. Augustine Mayor Nancy Shaver is stepping down as mayor so that she can deal with health issues. During a city council meeting, in fact on Monday, she announced that she is again battling breast cancer. And following that meeting, she suffered a stroke and had to be rushed to the hospital. And then it was just yesterday that we also learned that actor Luke Perry is now in the hospital after he reportedly suffered a stroke. You know, he's only 52 years old. Joining me now is Dr. Nima Aga Ebrahim. He is a neurologist with Baptist Hospital. Good morning. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Um, let's talk a little bit um, about, if we could, Nancy Shaver. Uh, um, from what I have read, she literally finished this meeting and was walking and took a wrong, to wrong, a wrong turn. And someone recognized that something just wasn't right. Had that not happened, who knows what could have happened because time is so important in these cases. Exactly. Thank you. you know, thank you for having me. So, um, like you said, a stroke can happen to anybody. And, um, and in this situation, Thankfully, she was able to uh, be recognized that she was having a stroke, and somebody called 911, and she was actually taken to the hospital right away uh, where she was treated uh, right away, and time is very important, exactly. So what are warning signs? A, a situation like this, somebody who obviously knew her well and recognized that this was atypical for her to basically take a, a left or a right when she should have taken the other, uh, what are some other symptoms that you know maybe we may not be as familiar with? So we have this acronym that uh, is called B fast or fast, um, and uh, what that means is uh, so B is for balance, for example, E is for eyes, and then F is for facial weakness. So if you have weakness on one side of the body, that's a very important sign of a stroke. Um, a is for the arm. So if your arm on one side is getting weak all of a sudden, that's again is a very important sign. S is for speech. If somebody's not able to speak all of a sudden, again another important sign. T is for time, as you mentioned, is so important when a stroke happens, you have to call 911. And would you necessarily suffer all of those symptoms at the same time, or just even one is a sign of stroke? Right question. It could be only just one of those, uh, or all of them, but uh, it can happen to any of one of those signs that can be a stroke. Considering that and knowing that um, there's actually video of a uh, tense conversation that the mayor had had uh, with another with the vice mayor um, is there any reason that that uh, something like that where intense stress all at once could force someone to have a stroke uh, it's very difficult to say intense stress leads directly to stroke but we know that the risks of stroke include uh, high blood pressure and other issues so indirectly uh, stress in addition to other uh, things in life can uh, affect the blood pressure, different hormones, and that could definitely uh, uh, cause or lead to a stroke. So it not necessarily then someone who does not necessarily have family history, you know, could in fact have a stroke. Exactly. So uh, stroke can happen to any of us. And uh, there are certain risks that we can modify. There are certain risks that we cannot modify. And I think we all need to focus on the modified risk to make sure that uh, we know uh, we modify the risk, such as, like I said, high blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetes, uh, heart disease, um, disease of the blood vessels in the neck. So those are the important uh, prevention. And I, th I want to bring in the Luke Perry part of this um, as well. We learned yesterday, based on multiple reports, that he had a stroke. He's 52 years old. He's clearly uh, appears to be in good shape. He's not overweight. You look at Nancy Shaver, also someone who looks to be in good shape. I think that maybe people make assumptions that you have to be overweight and don't exercise and a smoker, and, and that's going to increase your risk of stroke, and no one else will get it as a right, result. But right. that's not the case. That is not the case. So so it's important for everybody to know their cardiovascular risks. But as you said, uh, you can have very low risk and you still have a stroke. Mm -hmm. So it's important to uh, know what are your risks, but also know the signs of stroke. Because if a stroke happens, which can happen to any, anybody, then there are treatment available if the patients get to the hospital, the right hospital, fast. And it's interesting, too. And when you say the right hospital, is it just the closest hospital? Um, or <laughs> Right. So it, it is a hospital who can provide the uh, therapy. So there are two therapy available. Um, the TPA or clot busting medication that we can give, but also there's a therapy available where we can go through the blood vessel and remove the clot via a, uh, via a procedure, it's called thrombectomy. So the right hospital would be a hospital who is equipped to provide this kind of care, either through telemedicine or directly, and also provide this care fast and effectively. And because to take care of a stroke, you need a team, and uh, it's very important to have a great team.
And, and you know that that brings up a point that as you're thinking about um, you know your life and your risk factors, and if you are at risk of a stroke, not a bad idea to call around and find out the hospital closest to you that has both of those you know treatments available to them. Doctor, thank you for being here. I do thank appreciate the me. insight. I certainly hoped it helped you better protect your family so that you know what the warning signs are for of stroke, since we know it can hit anyone. And if you'd like to read more about either uh, Mayor Schaefer or Lou Perry's story, we've posted both on our website newsforjacks.com. There will also we'll also post this interview later this morning. Just look under the health section.